So last night I was talking to a friend who thought it would be an interesting video idea for me to talk about like controversial high school topics that are like, I guess kind of controversial, just like things that are talked about a lot. So that's things like dress code, relationships, friendships, you know. This is just gonna be like a discussion video where I talk about, I guess my opinion on each of them. Those of you that are underclassmen or rising freshmen that don't really know much about high school, this video is for you. So the first topic is dress code. Personally, the school I go to does not enforce dress code very heavily. I break dress code like at least once a week, um, if not more. And and, like, I mean, it's not like my ass is out, you know, so it's like not that bad But I wear like short skirts and like Nike shorts and things like that So I think it's kind of annoying that Nike shorts aren't allowed because like as a girl, you know It's hard to find like cute long shorts that we can wear that are school appropriate I feel like dress code is something that is important to have but it shouldn't be super strict as long as you're not showing off any like you know, <laughs> it's like not really a big deal in school versus online courses. I have taken four classes online and I'm taking one online currently. I really just took online classes to free up my schedule because there were a lot of classes that I wanted to take that I wouldn't have been able to if I did not take a class online. So I took health and PE online. I took on-level US history online, AP microeconomics online. I'm taking AP macroeconomics online right now. And I'm taking econ online because it is a required credit for me to graduate. It also just frees up some time in my day. It's nice having a six period off, just taking it online at my own pace because I have time to focus on my more rigorous classes like calculus. I know a few people that take all of their classes online and they're happy with that just because they prefer it that way. Personally, I like school. I think school is actually really fun apart from like the grading aspect. I enjoy taking most of my classes in school but it is nice leaving early because towards the end of the day I do get really tired and then I also do not have a first period on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so I get to sleep in which is also great because I'm always up working late so I need time to sleep. But I do think it's a good idea to take some online classes, at least your, your senior year, just so you have a little more relaxation time. Also, if you're trying to free up room in your schedule, definitely take like your required classes online because that just gets it out of the way. Extracurriculars. Extracurriculars are probably the best thing about high school in my opinion. I cannot imagine high school without any of my extracurriculars. Extracurriculars are truly what make high school fun. It's important to get involved kind of early on, you know? Like figure out what you like to do freshman, sophomore year, and then solidify that for junior year and senior year. That's what I did. I joined like a million clubs freshman year. Year. I like narrowed it down sophomore year. My best memories of all time in high school are from my extracurricular activities. And a lot of my best friends that I've met in high school are from doing extracurricular activities. I think over time with doing so much, I've gotten used to just being stressed, but not necessarily like a bad stress, like a good stress. Like I like being busy. That's the kind of aura that extracurriculars bring into your high school experience is that feeling of like good stress. It's always exciting. The next one is high school relationships. So like dating. I don't think dating in high school is a bad thing. I have dated two guys in high school. One of them was a really bad breakup. One of them was a really good breakup, but everything's good now. Like we're all friends, like everything is cool. Like there's no issues. When you do break up with someone, it is it is really hard. Like it's not, it's it sucks. <laughs> it sucks for a while. I think there's like some rules you should follow when it comes to dating in high school. And one of them is like, know what to expect and what not to expect. Expectations are kind of the biggest thing that make or break relationships in high school. You have to like understand each other's expectations. You know, I, I don't know. This, this might not make any sense. The biggest reason why high school relationships end is because of immaturity and not knowing how to treat the other person in a relationship because you're so young you don't really know what you're doing so that's kind of like a pretty big thing um also i think it's important for at least one of the two people to be able to drive both of you don't have to be able to drive but like that makes it easier but if at least one of you can drive that's good that's why like dating freshman year is probably not a good idea i'm gonna be honest like you don't want to put that burden on your parents to drive you around everywhere it's just like kind of annoying for them high school relationships are good for like the experience aspect i don't think they're good in terms of having a serious relationship some of them do work out like i have some friends that have been with their boyfriend or girlfriend for a very very long time so sometimes it works out and that's great but more often than not it will not work out <laughs> if you want to date in high school date in high school but it's it's really something you you don't need <laughs> if you're dying to date someone that's probably a good sign that you should not be dating someone best relationships are the ones that form naturally and so if you're like looking for someone to date it's probably not a good idea but they are a lot of fun but they also are a lot of work so it depends on where your priorities are at the last thing I'm gonna be talking about is friendships slash friend groups your friends will probably change a lot throughout high school and that's just the way it is like it's just bound to happen because you change like as you grow up you do change and and like I know I've changed and a lot of my friends have changed as well since freshman year I've actually kept most of the same friends but it's just like scattered like it used to kind of be one big group and like I, I would have like other small groups but now it's kind of like a bunch of just different small groups which I'm fine with and I kind of like it that way don't get beat up over friendships that end I know it sucks during the time when it happens but it gets better you know and, and you will meet new people and I thought like freshman year 
everyone that I was friends with then, I was gonna be friends with all throughout high school. And for a lot of them, it was true. And for some of them, it wasn't true. I'm really happy with the friends I have now. Everything does work out in the end. Um, it just takes time. Your friend groups will likely change. It's just because people change too. And it's not really anyone's fault. Like it just happens. Don't get beat up over things like that because it's just life. If you like this week's video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps out a lot. Subscribe because I upload videos every Saturday and you do not want to miss out. Feel free to start a discussion in the comments down below and talk about what you think about each of these topics. That would be awesome. Other than that, I'm going to go. So I will see you guys next week with another video. So until then, bye.